Hi guys, William the Tank Engine here, and today I am going to review Hornby Tornado. Some of you may have seen this or meant or noticed it in my videos, but it is of course Tornado. I didn't actually get the chance to make a video of this a few years ago until right now. Now I got the item itself from De from Devon in a model shop. I actually spent this on my birthday money. And I quite liked it, and I couldn't believe myself when I laid eyes on it. Now, the, now, let's move on to the details. I like his green paint and his white, stri white stripes. It kind of, it kind of resembles the, the Hornby Flying Scotsman, if you would ask me. Because their colours are similar. Now, colours are similar. The iron boards are quite actually nice. The model itself is actually as detailed as the real life steam engine. I quite I quite actually like this because it's a very stunning stunning piece of artwork. Now now as you can see it says British Railways on his tender because this is where he where he is from. Na where he is from. He moves actually pretty well once you try him out and he's and he's very, very popular too. Now I've heard you can buy buy this in many different colours. The green one, which I've already got, and the blue one especially. Or or some of you may get the one with the undercoat, but that but that's just a recap. Now then, the now there are some things I like about this. The wheels are as are as or as shiny as any other green wheels, and and they did absolutely great on on the smoke deflectors. Although it can be an issue if they wobble, wobble, and it might and it might easily break the model, which I don't really like. Don't really like about this, if you if you would ask. Now the buffers itself are free. Are pretty easy to are pretty easy to stroke, although although it's hard not to although it is hard not to press on it hard like springy buffers. Although it isn't springy buffers like Hornby Spencer and all sorts, it really is. It really does resemble a resemble the real life tornado, which we always see as a steam engine. He has the numbers 60163. Now they are his numbers and and it is the numbers of this engine. Now onto the onto as many details as you could. The tender itself runs pretty well as you can see. It it actually it it actually ha is detailed, uh, considering it doesn't have like a like a doorway, which I'm pretty fine with, cause that cause that's the way they've designed this this train. Now it actually now the tender coupling itself does actually have two holes. One, the front one, which the front one is actually important to couple him with, although when you're when you're putting him on track with the last last hole on his coupling, it could try to derail him when you're moving him when you're moving him, and it could be an could be an issue. But once you're done with done with this model, you can put that back to the last last hole and make it look like that he has a proper tender coupling. Proper tender coupling. The the tender itself isn't actually that bad. Actually, that bad. I like it very much because it's a very stunning piece of work. Now, now, should you buy this model or not? If you're a Tornado fan, definitely buy this or pick it up when you see it in the shops. Now, this is... Now this is William the Tank Engine saying goodbye and hoping you all have a nice day.